As you know, I am all about maximum impact for minimum effort. So in the spirit of that, I am very excited to share with you three yummy puff pastry recipes that look incredibly impressive but are almost effortless to put together. Today I'm going to show you some pesto goat cheese bites, some fruity pinwheels, and we're going to wrap things up with some cinnamon twists that will blow your mind with both how they taste and how easy they are to make. I created all three of these delicious recipes for my brand new series, How to Host, on the Design Network. Once you're done watching this yummy video, be sure to head over there for lots of great tips, tricks, and shortcuts for hosting a lovely tea party. What I love about all three of these recipes is that they are all made with store-bought puff pastry. Now, if you want it to be a rock star and make your own puff pastry, go right ahead. But I find store-bought works just as well. So that's what I'm using. Let's get started with our pesto goat cheese bites. These are so easy to put together, but end up looking so impressive. It all starts with some room temperature goat cheese. You want your goat cheese at room temperature so it's much easier to mix. To my goat cheese, I am going to add a few tablespoons of pesto. I'm going to mix this all together and then spread it on a sheet of puff pastry. We're going to top this yummy goat cheese mixture with some finely chopped roasted red peppers. Then all you're going to do is roll your puff pastry until you have one inch exposed. To make sure this is sealed really well, we are going to use some egg wash. Egg wash is created by whisking together an egg with a little bit of water. Then all you need to do is apply your egg wash with a pastry brush to the exposed end and you can complete your roll. It will totally stick together. The final step is slicing these beauties up. I find the easiest way to do this is with a sharp serrated bread knife. If you're having trouble slicing your bites without smushing them, all you need to do is put them in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes. They hold their shape much better when they're cold. Finally, we are going to lay our bites out on a parchment lined baking sheet and then just top them with a little more of that egg wash. That's gonna help you get a nice, crispy, golden crust. Into the oven these go at 400 degrees for between 14 and 18 minutes. Keep a good eye on them because you don't want them to burn. When they're ready, they are crispy, crunchy, and they smell incredible. Your guests are not going to know what hit them. Next up, we're going to be making some adorable fruity pinwheels. Once again, we are starting with some store-bought puff pastry, and all I'm going to do is cut it into even squares. I like to use a pizza cutter for this, but you could definitely do this with a knife just as easily. The next step is to create one inch cuts all the way around each square. Then you're going to transfer your square to a parchment lined baking sheet and get to work on your filling. In this case, we are doing a cream cheese and a berry filling. For our first filling, it's as simple as combining some room temperature cream cheese with a little bit of sugar. You can do this either in a stand mixer or whisk it by hand, totally up to you. Next, we are going to transfer this mixture into a zipper bag or a piping bag to make it easier to work with. Next up, let's talk fruit filling. Now you could definitely make your own filling, that's totally fine, but instead, I'm cheating again with some canned pie filling. And today, it's all about the blueberry. Once again, I've put my filling into a zipper bag because I just find it gives me better control. All I'm going to do is pipe a dollop of my cream cheese filling and then my fruit filling into the center of each of my puff pastry squares. And then I'm going to create my adorable pinwheel shape by pulling one edge from each corner into the center. How sweet is that? We're going to finish these off with a good coat of egg wash and then into the oven they go at 400 degrees until they are golden and crispy on top and the center is ooey gooey. Finally on today's menu are these absolutely adorable cinnamon twists and you're not going to believe how easy they are to put together. So I've got another sheet of store-bought puff pastry and I'm going to top it with some egg wash. Next, I'm going to combine some granulated sugar with some cinnamon and stir it together really well. Then all I'm going to do is shake my sugar cinnamon mixture all over the top of my puff pastry and cut it into one inch strips using my pizza cutter. Next, I'm going to twist each strip of pastry and place it on a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm going to finish these off with some egg wash and into the oven they go. While those beauties are baking, I'm going to mix up a super simple glaze dip. All I'm doing is combining some icing sugar with a splash of milk and some vanilla extract. I'm just going to give it a mix and this glaze is ready for dipping. And that's it folks, that's how easy these were to make. 
Once your twists are ready, they are crispy, golden, and sweet, and perfect for dipping. I hope you'll give these tasty recipes a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And don't forget to head over to the Design Network for a brand new episode of How to Host. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.